closest relative in the animal kingdom is the chimpanzee. We share many of the same tendencies and behaviors, as well as DNA. The genetic material needed to make a chimpanzee differs from ours only by 2%. Not a lot of room for error. Like us, chimpanzees are competitive with one another, in fact, sometimes brutal. Clearly, we have also inherited this gene. If we survive one another, we can live well into our 80s and beyond. At 75, Cheetah, Tarzan's TV show sidekick, is the world's oldest living chimpanzee. Why Tarzan named his chimp after a jungle cat is known only to his creator, Edgar Rice Burroughs, who incidentally also lived to 75. Another close relative of the chimpanzee is the bonobo, a monkey known for its enormous sexual appetite. It's been suggested that if we had evolved from bonobos, we might not have evolved at all. We would just be getting it on, but getting along. It's often said that conflict is opportunity. Perhaps this is why war begets so many of our alleged advances. Is it really like that great quote from The Third Man? Orson Welles says, In Italy, for 30 years under the Borgias, they had warfare, terror, murder, and bloodshed, but they produced Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and the Renaissance. In Switzerland, they had brotherly love, they had 500 years of democracy and peace, and what did that produce? The cuckoo clock. The infinite monkey theorem suggests that a monkey hitting keys at random on a typewriter with infinite time will eventually type Hamlet. We've already got Hamlet, but at the rate we're going, we don't have a lot of time. Perhaps we should focus on cuckoo clocks and having monkey business. What's the worst that could happen? 